this thing can really move. I must admit, it is rather thrilling to drive this new car of yours. You think we can outrun him? Ugh, get back here! We ought to break off his pursuit rather than continuing to flee. If I can't capture you, I will destroy you! Ah, leave us alone! <sighs> nice teamwork on that one, Dad. We do make a good team. Would you like to celebrate by going for a drive? Ooh, can I drive this time? What have you done? Look at my beautiful restaurant! It's destroyed! <gasps> oh no, I'm so sorry. Hmm, beef boss. The chimera we were engaged with caused the damage, but we'd be glad to aid you in repairing it. Ooh, does this mean Lex gets time off from work while it is being fixed? No, no, no! The restaurant must stay open! It shouldn't take too long to repair. I know a thing or two about- You don't understand. The aliens have been horrible for business. If we stop making money, even for a few days, we might have to close the restaurant. What will I tell Onesie? Close the restaurant? Oh no, Nixa could lose her job. Uh, okay, then we'll start repairing it right now. You can keep serving customers. <gasps> Jules Lady is going to do manual labor? No, Lisa can fix it. She does not want Jules Lady to get sweaty. And she will start right now. See you later. She's one dedicated worker. Well, I guess you two are off the hook then. Right, sure. If Lexa can't fix it, I'll let you know. Okay then. I'll drive us back home, Dad. Perhaps you should slow down, Marigold. I can do this. I won the car in a race, didn't I? Look out! Ow! Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on out here? Hey, you! In the gorgeous car. Watch where you're going. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Holy smokes. You're the chick that won this exact car from me. Yeah, my name is Jules. We've met several times. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm more concerned with how you risk treating my baby. If she'd allow me to drive it, perhaps this wouldn't have happened. You're the one who doesn't let me drive it. And it's my car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sensing a lot of hostility here. This is clearly a sore subject, and I apologize for getting involved. No, you're right. There are all kinds of problems we don't talk about. We should at least be able to solve this. At times, we work very well together. It makes it difficult to understand the times that we don't. Hello, dear. I'm sorry I haven't visited you in a while. I've just been so busy. I wish you could see what I've accomplished. The pieces are moving across the board. Everything is proceeding according to my design. And soon, everything will be in place. Once it is done, we will be together again. No matter the cost. Hey, Dad! Marigold, you're positively glowing. Duh, what did you expect? You're looking at the best treasure hunter since, well, ever. Sorry, but I think I've got you beat. Is that so? I'll be the judge of that. Show us what you found, girl. Ta-da! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? 
besides you and your mother. No, I can't imagine I have. Well done. All right! You've really come into your own. I knew moving out here would pay off. I think Mom would have liked it. I bet she would have. What about you, dear? Me? What about me? Are you happy here? In this life, I mean? We get by fine, right? What else could you ask for? I just wonder sometimes. It would be nice to not have to go spelunking for dead men's riches and instead make my own, you know? Well, then maybe you shouldn't have gone into the treasure hunting profession. I deny the world these hand skills. You're right. That would be a tragedy. Then it's time to see the master at work. And so it is. You've done your part, but it's time I've done mine. Good luck beating my haul, Dad. You're gonna need it. We'll see. Bye, Dad. Ah, what have we here? No entrance, and no obvious opening mechanism. But there's a chest in here, all right. Time to bust out old reliable. Success! Let's see what we've earned. No mimics, no mimics, no mimics. Nice. It's not worth as much as marigolds, but that should do for today. Hmm, or maybe not. Something tells me there's more to be found. My goodness! This temple is massive. Why, it would take Marigold and I ages to explore together. Still though, no time like the present. Ugh. It's pitch black down here. Lucky I always come prepared. My god, that is... That would be enough to last us a thousand lifetimes. What the? Could someone else be down here? No, I'm just hearing things, that's all. Can't let myself get distracted now. Everything I ever wanted in the palms of my hands. I'm not hearing things. That was real. I have to help her. But no, the treasure can wait. I'm coming. Hello, are you there? Ma'am, do you need assistance? Further and further into the darkness, I better watch my step. Help! Hello? I'm here. What is that? N no, not unless you back off. I said, back off! How did I? How did I do that? You did well. Are you alright? What are you doing down here? And just what was that thing anyway? I am fine. I was down here to test you, and you passed. Test me? That was all a test? In some regards, though the threat that one poses was very real. To combat him, you have been chosen. Chosen? Chosen by what? By the light. You have proven yourself worthy to wield it. And wield it you must, if the coming darkness is to be stopped. The light, the darkness? I'm sorry, but this all sounds far-fetched. I must be dreaming. You feel the power inside you, don't you? Tell me, does that feel imaginary? No, it feels very real. Because it is. Huh? Where'd she go? Thing? The power 
of the light coursing through my fingertips. With this gift, I can finally live like a king. I have to show Marigold. She'll be so excited. Where are you, daughter? I have something wonderful to show you. Magnificent. Marigold? She must have went out. Hmm, I wonder. The possibilities are endless. Everything I touch turns to gold in my hands. <laughs> I am rich. No, more than that. I am all-powerful. Dad, something's happened to the front door and... Dad? Is that you? Yes, dear. It's me. What happened to you? You... you changed your hair. That's not the only thing that's changed about me. I've been given a great power. What do you mean? Given by who? It is hard to explain, but the results speak for themselves. Watch! Oh my goodness! That's incredible! Our lives will never be the same. With this, I can be a king. And you, my princess. This is almost too much to take in. What's the cost? The one who gave me this gift. They want me to do their bidding. But the way I see it, we don't need to serve anyone. Not anymore. Well, I'm happy for you, Dad. This is pretty awesome. So? Hmm? Who's the best treasure hunter? <laughs> you, Dad. High five. That's right. Uh, Dad, I don't feel so good. No, wait. No, not like this. Marigold! Dad, I love... No, 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 no! Marigold, I'm so sorry. It's been so long since I became who I am today. Since I made you into... this. I've learned to control it to an extent since then, but I cannot seem to reverse its effects. The one who made me this way has not heeded my prayers, my pleas. It is like they wanted this outcome all along, and for that, they will pay. However, in order to make that happen, I require something. The power to kill a god. <laughs> Hello, Tech. Uh, excuse me, sir. Where do you think you're going? Ah, uh, you're not Tech. No, I'm not. That particular employee was taken off this position for constantly falling asleep on the job. I'm Rook. Well, I'm Meowsels, and I'm kind of a big deal around here. So if Mew wouldn't mind, I'm kind of in a hurry. Well, big deal. I do mind, actually. All visitors and agents alike have to be given clearance. It's policy. Ugh, no wonder I'm putting Mew out here. He's a stickler for bureaucracy. Speaking of Mr. M... Mr. M? Uh, yes, Rook? I have a Mr. Meowsels here to see you. Yes, of course. Send him in. Th thank you. Sure thing. <laughs> Isn't he cute with that stutter of his? Anyways, Mr. M will see you now. Stutter? Hmm. I'm feeling something in the air here. Ah, Agent Meowsels, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company? Well, as you know, Cat and I are going steady, and well... Mm-hmm, go on. Are you feeling okay? I am feeling fine, Meowsels. Please continue. Right, you just seem... happier. Do I? I suppose my radiant smile gives it away. That's not it. 
but I think I know what it's all about. I tire of this back and forth, Meowsos. Get on with it. You love that new assistant of yours, don't you? Ooh, Rook. My goodness, Meowsos. She is a model employee, a beautiful woman, and a skilled agent. What was that second one? Ah, I admit my thoughts have been occupied as of late with some non-business related matters, Rook being one of them. Well then why don't you ask her out? I couldn't do that, Meowsos. Why not? You know she called you cute earlier. Really? I mean, I see. Then perhaps I could give it a shot. But I couldn't just ask her out. After all, I'm her superior. Hmm. How about you make it sound like a mission? Ah, now there's an idea. You have a keen mind. That's why they pay me the big yarn. Yes, if you'll excuse me, I have a mission to go on. Good luck, boss. I'll hold down the fort. Call me if you need some good lines. I'm chock full of them. Look at me. I'm the captain now. No. Nope. That feels wrong. Uh, hello, Rook. Oh, hi, Mr. M. I hope everything is satisfactory today. Uh, yes, more than satisfactory. You are really doing a great job. Well, thank you. I try my best to run a tight ship. Which is why I've come here. I'm promoting you. Really? But I've only just started. This is highly unusual. Ah, but you have proven yourself so quickly, which is why you are now a field agent, and your first assignment begins now. Oh, oh my! Okay, w where am I going? We are going... Uh, well, it's classified. Come on. Should we just leave the desk unattended? Anyone could walk in. Right, that. Meowsos, watch the desk. You got it. Taken care of. Let's go. Kitty! Ollie! Hi, Sky. Hi, Ollie. Hi, tree. Uh, what's with the tree? Uh, what did it say? He wants to talk to M. Pronto! Where is he? He actually just left on a date mission. A date mission? At a time like this? What is it with you old people and falling in love? You'll understand it someday, kiddo. Ugh, but my destiny awaits! Well, you can await in the lobby for M to get back. Ugh, come on then, Bush Ranger. This is so boring! Ollie! Uh-huh. That's life. So this is the place, huh? What are we dealing with? Well, this restaurant has been the source of many health complaints and it's Ego's job to investigate. That doesn't sound like something someone of your rank should have to deal with. Aren't you busy? Nonsense. Besides, I have to make sure you are cut out for the job. Ah, hmm, that makes sense. Hello! Welcome to Fish Sticks! How about the Fish Sticks? Can I take your order? Don't can I take your order with us, bub! <laughs> ah, calm down, Rook. Fish Stick. Your establishment has been the subject of several health inquiries. We are here to investigate. Oh, Fishick was not aware of any complaints! Well, they happened, I assure you. Now, in order to properly ascertain the severity of your actions, we are going to need to order some food. I will have the grilled halibut. Rook, what would you like? 
I would like justice for all those affected by this fish's disregard for safety. Oh no! Rook, uh, good job. You saw right through his deception. Uh, hold him there and do not shoot him, all right? Got it, sir. You heard him. Don't move. I will be right back. Agent Meowsos, this situation has gotten out of hand. Where'd you take her? A restaurant. I thought we might share a meal. Instead, she's held at the locals with a gun. Sounds like your kind of lady. Mr. Custer used a little fishy's room. <laughs> I said don't move. Meowsos, I need to take her away from here. Why not go to your yacht? Totally isolated. No risk of shooting anyone there. Brilliant. Feel free to scratch up all the furniture you like while I'm gone. That's a dangerous game you're playing, Em. False alarm, Rook. Just got off the phone with intelligence. Seems Fishstick here has been the victim of a prankster sending in false reports. Nothing more. Oh, I see. Sorry about that, sir. Oh, please leave now! The closest lady scares me! We're leaving. If you want some compensation for any damages, just speak to my secretary. Which is me! Bye! Wow, this is your private yacht, right? The Marigold. What are we doing here? We've gotten reports that there's an altar spy aboard. We must be on the lookout for anything unsavory. Roger that. Looks like the coast is clear. Could the reports have been wrong? It seems that way. Oh well, since we're here, we might as well relax. Maybe have a drink and a lounge by the water. Wait! We didn't check out this room yet. No, I don't think anyone would go down there. Come on, we have to be thorough. But, uh... What? Who's this statue of? No one. You shouldn't be here. Why does she look so... real? <sighs> it's my daughter, Rook. I made her this way. What? How? I'm sure you heard the rumors of my golden touch. Well, they're true. I can't believe it. Your own daughter, how did- It was an accident. It was before I could control my power. It is my greatest secret. My biggest regret. You poor man. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. M. Please, call me Midas. Honey, did I hear that right? You quit your job at the Durberger. Well, I less quit and more got fired, but trust me, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Typical. Be nice to your brother. What do you mean, Em? I met someone. A, a girl. She's the one that got me fired, actually. <laughs> Sounds like a real winner. Oh, my little guy's in love. What's the lucky lady's name? Rio. Her and I are planning to go off together. Start a business, maybe. Something to do with adventuring. Meaning I won't be around for a while, Mom. Oh, I'll miss you, but... I think that sounds lovely, dear. That does it. What's the matter, son? Can't you see what's happening? He's slacking off, like always. 
He never works hard. Things just fall in his lap. And now, after finally getting fired for it, he somehow twisted the situation to be some fairy tale love story. And you believe it, like always. Now, don't you take that tone of voice with me, mister. Sorry, mother, but it's the truth. Brother, can't you just be happy for me? For once, I finally found purpose in life. No, I can't be, because you don't deserve happiness. While you fool around, some of us actually work hard to make something of ourselves. Meanwhile, you fall headfirst into opportunities and then squander them. You're a screw-up, and that's all you'll ever be. That's enough. I won't have you talk to M that way. Of course not. Wouldn't want to upset your precious M. He's always been your favorite. That's not fair. Whatever. I have actual work to get back to. After all, someone has to pay the bills around here. Why does he hate me so much? Your brother doesn't hate you. Deep down, I know he loves you. He's just... annoyed. He thinks that you have it easy, but that's because he's made life hard for himself. Meanwhile, you, you're more free-spirited, willing to adapt to whatever is thrown your way. Not everyone is like you in that regard, Em. You're special. Thanks, Mom. But I don't feel special. Now that's not true. You were just telling me how excited you were about your new life with Rio. Doesn't she make you feel special? Yeah, she definitely does, actually. Then go on. Don't keep her waiting. You two will be okay without me, right? I might not be back for a while. Em, I want you to have a rich, full life. And I want a grandchild. Mom. <laughs> I'm just joking around, son. I love you. I love you too. Dear Mom, I am devastated. It all happened so fast. Rio is gone, and you have a granddaughter. Her name is Marigold. She has your eyes. Mom, how did you get through it? How did you go on after Dad's death? I feel like a part of me has been broken beyond repair. I know I have to keep going for her, but I don't know if I can. I don't know how to be strong. I miss you. Love, M. Dear Mom, your granddaughter has grown into a beautiful and talented young woman. We have started the business that Rio and I talked about all those years ago. She is happy. I wish she knew her grandmother. I don't know if you've received my letters. If you have, why have you not written back? Um. I see the world for what it is now. My brother was right about me. And you, were a liar. I'm not special. I'm nothing. Midas, we have to talk. Ah. Oh. So you decided to show up, after all these years. Yes, brother. It's... it's good to see you too. I see you finally got a haircut. Likewise. Hmm. <laughs> Mom, what's wrong with her? She's dying, Midas. Has been for a very long time. Dying? Why? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why didn't she? Don't you dare. Mom wrote you letters every day, until her hands started to shake, and even after that. She couldn't bear the thought that you had somehow fallen out of love for her. Not her favorite son. But, but I did write to her. I don't understand what could have happened. Right, of course. It's never your fault. <laughs> you left us behind and never looked back. Meanwhile, I was the one that took care of her. 
while you were off doing what? Raiding tombs. <sighs> I get it. Better not to speak than to actually deal with your failures. Uh, I'll be back. I won't hold my breath. Son? I'm here, Mom. Um. No, Mom. It's me. It's Redux. Where's Midas? Midas? Mom. Midas? Mom. Mom? <sighs> no. Midas. Now listen here, brother. I know that you don't think I've worked to get to where I am. Midas. That I haven't sacrificed, but I have. More than you can know. Midas. She's gone. Huh. But I... I just stepped out for a moment. <sighs> Did she... Did she say anything? No. No. Damn it! <sighs> what? Another undeserved gift bestowed on my brother. It's not a gift. It's a curse. How are those calculations looking, dear? 524 over 200. Excellent. Then we are ready. Dad, are you sure you want to go through with this? Of course I am. My brother is squandering the power he's been given. I will not make the same mistakes. I've worked too long and too hard to let an opportunity like this pass me by. Uncle M, do you think I'll ever meet him? Not if I can help it. Trust me, he's not someone you want in your life. He'll only disappoint you. Now, prepare the device. Sir, yes sir. With this device, Midas's power will flow through my fingertips. Flip the switch. It's working! It's working! Dad? Ah, shut it down! Demi, shut it! Ah! Come in. Father. Demi, you've been gone so long. I thought you might have fallen to your uncle's cause. Hardly. His operation is a mess and his agents undisciplined. Unsurprising. Despite his success, it always ends the same for Midas. Indeed. Is something else bothering you? Vendetta. I found out that he's still alive. That man? Still, you're worried about him. He cast you aside, Demi. You're better than this. It's time you stopped paying him any mind and focus on your goals. You're right. That reminds me, I have a gift for you, Father. A relic from Neo Tilted that I thought you might be able to make use of. Oh, and where did you come about this relic? I salvaged it from Camp Cod. How it ended up there from the Resistance base, I do not know. The local tradesmen did not see it for what it was, but I do. You intrigue me, daughter. So, where is it now? Why spoil the surprise? I'm having it personalized for you. Trust me, it's going to make for one hell of a storm. Excellent. Huh. That makes the car seem really insignificant, actually. Indeed. There is a much bigger picture that we must focus on. So what I'm hearing is, me interrupting you two was helpful? Eh, maybe a little. I wanna go home, Dad. Would you like to drive? No. You go ahead. Man, I'm really good at that. I should be a marriage counselor. If I 
were to triangulate the signal source of reality points Alpha, Iota, and Sigma, then... Yes! Yes! That'll do nicely! Oh, Sloan, you've done it again! Pardon the interruption. Are you Professor Sloan? It's Dr. Sloan, actually. How can I help you? Dr. Sloan, of course. I've done my research on you personally. Your theories, your deductions, they're all so fascinating. You sound a little starstruck. Only because I know their application could be my redemption. And what exactly do you have to be redeemed for? I am not open about these things with just anyone, Dr. Sloan. You can say that again. You haven't even told me your name. It's Midas. M for short. M. I see. All right, M. Lay it on me. What horror of reality are you trying to erase? Or are you in it for the money? Power. Something even greater? <laughs> what? You think you're the first person to come to me hoping to improve their station? Oh, what I'm researching, it's too unstable to control in such a pinpointed manner. It's not like aiming a scope and finding your target. It's more like... An art? Yes, actually. I know art, and I know that what you have discovered is indeed special. I have not come to you to use it to gain trinkets or some perverse control over reality. I only need it to do one thing, and one thing only. And what exactly is that? I want to use it to save my daughter. Your daughter? What's wrong with her? I... I made a mistake. I am the cause of her and my own suffering. I can tell the weight of this is heavy on your mind. You must have really messed things up. Yes. For you see... I was given a great gift, a chance, like you said, to improve my station. No one had ever believed I was destined for anything in life, and yet now I had so much power in my grasp, a means to make my family proud, my daughter proud of me. Instead, this gift quickly revealed itself to be a curse. I had made a deal with a demon, and now a price had to be paid, and it was in gold. I have learned my lesson. I come before you humbly to ask for your assistance, to change just one thing. I... Oh, with motivation like that, I assume nothing I could say would stop you. Not a chance. Very well. From now on, M, you're my student, and that comes with a responsibility to me. And to the people of this, of all, realities. You ready to take that on? I am. Then let's tackle the nature of the loop together. I'll see you back here first thing tomorrow morning. I'll be here. The loop. Marigold, this is it. Oro wants me to play by his rules, but with this, I can defy him. Not even he can control reality. We will be together again soon. I promise. So, am I free to go now? Everyone else left, and now it's kind of awkward that we're still standing around here. Plus, I'm getting really tired of that DJ set. I may not have killed you, but I'm still unsure about what to do with you. If I let you just walk away, it would be bad for both of us. If they find out you're still alive, they will turn you into paste. And if they find out you let me go... Again, paste. Ah, <sighs> well, that's great. Just... Great! Why do all roads end in paste? You know, Dr. Sloan can be a real pain in the- Human behind. I know. Hold that thought. Yo, yeah. What's that, Baba? Dr. Sloan wants you back on guard duty at the complex. Guard duty? But I'll still have to find that Sanchez fella. This takes priority. Now that Jones is dead, you're needed back here. Ow. He is dead, right? Oh, 
Of course he is. Your two goons took him out while I was out back taking a whiz. Not very ladylike. Quiet. Very well. Like I said, these are direct orders from Dr. Sun. You know better than to question her. Forget Sanchez. Get back to base. I'm a double, soldier. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. No. Trouble in paradise? Yeah, for both of us, mate. I gotta get back to Corny Complex. Doctor's orders. And what about me? Well, that's the question, ain't it? I can't roll up with you, but now I've indirectly lied straight to Dr. Sloan about you being dead. Never a good idea. Yeah, thanks, I know. Say, you've known her for years, right? Unfortunately. You know, we used to get along real great. She even came to my birthday party once. At least, I think that was her. I had a lampshade on my head at the time. Right. So, what do you know about her? How'd she get the way that she is? Well, I mean, I've only heard the stories. But the Imagined Order? They wouldn't exist today without her and her research. That's one thing to be commended, I guess. When IO sees potential in someone, they don't let it go to waste. And when they don't, they let it go to paste. Can we get that image off of our minds, please? Anyways, you want to know a crazy rumor I heard? Lay it on me. I heard she used to work with Midas. No way, you're kidding. Dad, uh, who's Midas? Ah, oh, he's only the most important person on this island. Aside from me, and Sloan, and probably Rick at this point. Anyways, he's kind of a big deal. They met years and years ago. He's a lot older than he looks, you know. I don't know. I never met him. Right. Point being, as she helped build up the Imagined Order's research platform, Midas was right by her side every step of the way. Her star pupil. He was building an empire of his own, you see. A great agency. But that's ancient history now. Well, Io's still going strong. So what happened to him? Why is he not a number two now? Well, that's where it gets interesting. Apparently, they had a falling out. No one knows the reason why. What's even more interesting? I've met Midas. He doesn't seem to remember a single part of this. Did you ever consider then that it was a lie? Like those human tabloids you see of your celebrities like Beef Boss and Cattle Team Leader being an item? I don't think it's like that. Wuxi well, and Beef Boss are tight. Ahem. I mean, I just think there's more to the story. Anyways, after Midas left, she took it personally, resulting in that icy cold exterior we know and love. Ah, guess we'll never know the real story of what happened between them. Guess not. <laughs> yes, that will solve that particular concern. Dr. Sloan will be pleased. Marcus. No, not here. What do you want? Show yourself. Anyway, hello again, my old friend. You're no friend of mine. Ah, uh, I know, I know. I haven't kept in touch. I'm sorry for that. I enjoyed your fleeting absence. If only it were longer. <laughs> I see you've been busy with one Dr. Stone and this miracle cure of yours. <laughs> you can't stop this from happening. You may influence things here, but you have no control over other realities. Oh, you're not playing by the rules, Midas. The pawn should know their place. I am no longer your pawn. When I am done here, your plan is done for. No, Midas, it is only just beginning. Soon, all of my power will be back in my hands, and those who stripped it from me will wish they hadn't. You don't deserve this power. Midas? Dr. Sloan, <sighs> you're going to be all right. All this time, you wanted it for yourself. No, no, that's not true. You have to understand. I understand. What? What have you done? <sighs> you were my prized pupil. I thought we could change the world together. But instead... You are just like all the others. When you wake up, you will not remember me, I O, or the loop. You did not deserve it. You deserve nothing, Midas. You are destined for nothing.
I hear the experiments are going well. On the humans? Please, you don't understand a word of what those lab geeks are saying. You didn't even pass alien Spanish. It's not Groguflex's fault. How can words have genders? It confuses and irritates me. Pipe down and stick to what you're good at, which is standing around and scaring humans off with that ugly mug of yours. <laughs> Why, you? Er, come on. Your rigid principles. You would sacrifice human life for the sake of the imagined order. I do what has to be done. You know that some things are worth making sacrifices for Midas. No. I understand determination and responsibility, but you take it too far. And your agency didn't? Face it, there's no difference between us. We're all villains here. We must learn more about them, and I believe this is the best way. Yeah, but isn't this a little dangerous? What if they track it to Jewel's shop or something? Nothing is gained without taking risks. Huh, I feel like I'm getting a life lesson every day. Do you think you'll be able to recognize if they've used Sig as a model for these robots? Yeah, probably. Shh, here it comes. Now! Nah. Well, that was easier than expected. Now what? Hmm. Surely they should have more defenses than that. Maybe they just weren't built to fight. But they're patrolling the hatchery. Surely they should be equipped to defend it. Hey, wouldn't it be crazy if Zig was actually controlling all these robots? I thought you said Choppy was bullied by other aliens. He was, but maybe having Zig changed things for him up there. It's an interesting theory. We should see if Marigold can learn anything from this one. This is Jules. Sorry I can't get to the phone. Leave a message. Hmm. I haven't heard from her in a while. I hope everything's alright. She can take care of herself. I'm sure she's fine. Of course she can. It is an odd coincidence that she's gone when these robots are introduced, though. That's true. This is the most complicated engineering we've seen aliens do. I hope she can help us with it soon. If we can't get in touch with her now, let's at least move the robot to her workshop. Perhaps you and I can start looking into it. Hmm, it looks awfully heavy. You think we can carry it? <laughs> Whew, that was a really long walk. Indeed. Now, if this trespasser is similar to the robot you built, how would you know? Well, looking inside it would be a good idea, but even from the outside it looks like Zig. Does it? The head is different, but I definitely made those shoulder pads, and the body shape is similar too. Hmm. We shouldn't open it without Marigold here. Why not? Do you think it might release a poisonous gas or something? No? Where would you get that idea? I just think she's the most qualified among us to make an assessment about it. Alright, but where is she? Jules, you're not playing some kind of game, are you? Marigold? Hmm. Jules! Could she have left a note, maybe? If she's not back soon, I'll put together a search party. It's possible she was taken to the mothership. <gasps> oh no! People have come back from there before. I'm confident she'll be all right. However, it- ah! From now on, Im, you're my student. And that comes with a responsibility to me. 
enter the people of this, of all realities. You ready to take that on? I am. Ah. Are you alright? What's wrong? I was worried that Marigold's absence would stall our plans, but it seems there's another threat that needs to be investigated. What happened, Midas? Perhaps a memory of some kind. I shall return. Wait, where are you going? What should I do while you're gone? Wait for Marigold, or perhaps start looking for her. I must go. Hmm, only one way to draw her out. Just someone who wants to get in touch with Dr. Sloan. That's not how this works, man. Then how does it work? You're not supposed to interact with Io at all. Then perhaps you should have stayed underground. Io is a part of this island, and has been for some time. That still doesn't give you the right. Io doesn't think we have rights at all. We're just puppets to you, dancing whenever you pull our strings. Listen, man, I can't get you in touch with Dr. Sloan. You're not even supposed to know who she is. And it would appear she's taken quite a few steps to ensure that we don't. I've grown tired of this manipulation. Now if you'll excuse me, Mr... <sighs> Zack. Mr. Zack. I'm going to find out what exactly Dr. Sloan is keeping from me, and why. You... you've talked to her before, haven't you? Many times, I'm sure. I'll be borrowing this from you. Sloan. Doctor, I've had enough of your deception. Midas? How did you get this number? I know that you and I have more of a history than I recall. I... I, I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps you're having trouble remembering as well. I suggest you come meet me on the dock so we can discuss it. And why would I do that? One of your guards would be very grateful. Zack was his name, I believe. I know you won't hurt him, Midas. And you should think carefully before you threaten any agents of the imagined order. What makes you think I haven't? Um, hey, are you gonna give me my phone back? I.O. has interfered with this island for far too long. It's all just a means to an end, Midas. Are you not the same man who sacrificed his friends to save his daughter? I would never betray them again. It's so easy to say that once your fight is over. The fight never ends for the people who live on this island. Do you know how many beings have altered my mind? I can think of a few. Io has on multiple occasions. You have. We were friends once, weren't we? I don't have friends, Midas. No, don't pretend you brought me out here to be the savior of everyone on this island. You aren't trying to bring down I.O. You just want peace of mind for yourself. Having more than one motive isn't- You were so close, Midas. Hmm. To the truth, you and I were pioneering the loop together, and I thought we were unstoppable. Your story, the last time we met. You really didn't put it together. You wanted to use the loop to save your daughter. And you know what? I'm so glad I didn't give you the chance. Why? Look what you did to the people who did help you, Midas. You were the one who made me realize that I can't trust anyone. That sacrifice in the mission just to do someone a favor is never an option. If you erased my memory of this before, why are you telling me about it now? Because I would want to know if I was in your shoes. And your knowledge of our history doesn't hurt our mission. Then you did it so I wouldn't know how the loop works. Yes. And now that I've told you what you want to know, you won't disrupt my work anymore. That includes threatening my guards. 
Doctor, I... You're lucky I don't kill you right here, Midas. Don't make me regret it. How could I? We were friends once. We've made such good progress. How about we celebrate with a drink? I'm sorry, Em. I'm in a zone. I can't stop now. It's going to be dark out soon. You don't want to walk home alone in the dark. Then stay with me and help me finish this. Don't you ever stop to enjoy your accomplishments, Doctor. The work itself is my enjoyment. How else do you think I got to where I am? Your ambition is admirable. It helps that I don't have to do it alone now. I'm glad you came to join the project. As am I. But we're nearing the answer. We'll have to conclude our research soon. That's when I'll stop to celebrate. Do you think we'll stay in touch? Perhaps work on future ventures together? You know, I hadn't thought about it. We do make a good team. That's not a bad idea. Hmm. I'll take that as a yes. Maybe. If you stay just a little while longer and help me finish this problem. It's a deal. Day. Hey, before I go in, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Of course, Marigold. I apologize as well. I've lost sight of the larger issue here. Yeah, that seems to be happening a lot. These aliens are kind of forgettable, aren't they? All the more reason to be done with them. You should keep the car, by the way. It doesn't make sense for me to keep it if I'm just going to wreck it. Nonsense. I'll teach you to drive. We never have time. You know that. Just take it. It should be enjoyed, and I know you'll take care of it. Thank you, Marigold. You've become a very mature young woman. Mm. Good night, Dad. Good night, Marigold. Mm.